Good morning, my name is Anthony Cockings and I'm the marketing manager of Costa Calida Golf Tours here in the Murcia region of Spain. Today you join me at La Torre Golf. La Torre Golf is a Jack Nicholas design course, par 68, measuring in at just under 5,000 meters from the yellow tees. La Torre Golf has some spectacular features and I'm looking forward to showing you them all today. So let's go. So you join me here on the first hole, a 303 meter par four. All the danger is on the left. We have some massive bunkers here on the left, which is what the Torre is famous for and I will show you throughout the day today. The tee shot is aimed just right at those bunkers, hope for a little fade into the middle of the fairway and that should leave us probably about 100 meters into the green. So look at these bunkers. This is a feature of La Torre Golf, which you're going to see a lot around this course. They are big, they are wide, they're pretty deep, so you want to stay out of them as much as possible. We're here on the second hole, a par four, 383 meters. This is the second hardest hole on the Torre Golf. We've got, again, those big bunkers on the right-hand side. It's a dog leg right, and the fairway opens up to the left. What club would you take from here? So one of the main features here that you're going to see all day long are the bunkers. They are big, they are deep, and they are everywhere. Uh, we took it out of play today. I took a driver off the second there. On the left-hand side of the fairway, I've got 150 meters to the green, which again is protected by more bunkers. The greens here are turtle shell-like. Everything leads off of the greens and it takes you into the danger. You've really got to hit a good shot for it to hold onto these greens. Hole three and the first par three here on the Torre Golf. It's 164 meters from the yellow tees. We've got those big bunkers on the right hand side. We've got two pot bunkers, one at the back, one at the front. There's not much danger other than runoff areas to the left. What club would you take here? Typical Nicholas design feature are these pot bunkers up to a raised green like this. They're everywhere here on the Torre. You're gonna to find yourself in them more than once throughout your round, especially if you're a player like me. Hole number four. All the danger here is on your right. We've got 314 meters to the front of the green. We have some pot bunkers on the left-hand side. That's where you need to be aiming. You want to be just short of those bunkers, which will give you a great open shot into the green. But like I said, the danger's on the right. We've got a lake here, which is absolutely stunning. You wait till we get down near to it and you see the view that we have into this perfect green. Look at this for a second shot. Whoa. We have the lake to our right. We got bunker, massive bunker, front of the green protecting it. We got a bunker just to the left of the green. We got runoff areas. It's surrounded by bushes. It is so protected. This is an intimidating second shot. Hole number six here at La Torre Golf. Easiest hole on the course, but don't let that fool you. These bunkers are closer than what they look. The, the group in front of us have just hit a hybrid into those bunkers, so be very careful. 
Get your laser out, measure your distance, choose the right club and you'll be fine. We've got a wide open fairway and just look at that view. We've got mountains in the background. It is just stunning. Hole seven, the first par five of our round, a 451 meter par five. It is a monster. We have bunkers to our right here, as you can see. We've got some bunkers to the left. Everything here is in play. You really need to get a good tee shot away. My aim here, I'm gonna aim just right at these bunkers, little fade, hopefully end up in the middle of the fairway, and that gives me a good layup shot for my third into the green. Let's see how we get on. Here we are on the eighth hole. We're almost halfway through our round. It's a 331 meter par four. You've got the lake, as you can see behind me, there's a bunker as well, just to the right. That shouldn't come into play. Your shot should be on the left-hand side here of this fairway. It's a wide open fairway, which will give you a beautiful shot into the green. So here we are, ninth hole, 145 meters to the green. We got pot bunkers at the front. It's a beautiful way to finish the halfway point of this round. We've got the Doubletree Hilton Hotel behind us. We've got a beautiful lake here with a nice water feature in the middle. The lake is a little low this uh, time of year. It's summer, you can imagine the heat that we have here and they use the water for irrigation. So it is a little lower than, than normal. Um, par three, like I said, let's see what we can do. I've got an eight iron in my hand, but what club would you choose? So we've made the turn, we're on the 10th, a 373 meter par four. It's a monster. It's the hardest hole on the course. We've got bunkers on the left-hand side. You've got a bunker here right in front of you that shouldn't come into play. Why is this the hardest hole in the course? Well, let's go up the fairway and see. So 10th hole, wide open fairway, but it's the hardest hole on the course. Why? Well, if you follow me, We've got these bunkers here, which are invisible from the tee. We've got a green that is heavily protected by all the bunkers, right, left, and at the back. And we've got probably 130, 140 meters into the green still. Today, the pin's at the front, so that's not too hard. But there's loads of runoff areas on these greens. They're like a, a shell of a turtle. So if you don't hit the green perfectly, you're gonna roll off into one of these hazards. And can you see, these greens are tricky. So here, I've hit a wedge into the green, I've pitched on the green, and it's just rolled off to this runaway area. Same at the back here, if you go long, everything's gonna take you off the back. Same to the right, you've got bunkers, and it's just all gonna roll towards there. If you don't hit a perfect shot into this green as your second shot, it's not going to hold, and you're gonna end up with a tricky third shot like this. I'm not feeling brave today, so I'm just gonna take a putter, get it up there as close as I can, and see how we get on. Eleventh hole here on the Torre Golf. We've got 170 meters to the front of the green, and we're over the lake. Really, really intimidating tee shot, this. All the danger here is to the right. If you go left of the green, you've got a little bunker, but it shouldn't come into play. Aim left, take your two putts, walk away with a par. Par, par. 12th hole here at La Torre Golf. It's 438 meters and it's the second of the two par fives. We've got a wide open fairway. We've got a few bunkers to the right and to the left, but they shouldn't come into play with a good drive. One of the biggest features here at La Torre Golf for the bunkers, you've got these fairway bunkers that are just enormous. They're not too deep until they get to around the green and they're, uh, they're quite deep around the green. But if you look at this, this bunker starts from 
probably 100 meters from the green and comes all the way up, protecting this green that's tucked away here in the back left corner. You've got a pocket bunker here behind me. You've got a pocket bunker here um, back left and you've got runoff areas behind the green. Really, really difficult hole to hit in two if you're a pro as a, as a par five and even in three. Really difficult to hold your ball on this green. Hole numero 13, 13, unlucky for some. And when you look at what's ahead of you, you've got to be lucky. Look at those bunkers. I mean, check that out. That is very intimidating. You've got 308 meters to the front of the green, par four. What club would you choose here? You've got bunkers, which are probably 200 meters on the right. And then you've got bunkers that lead all the way from the tee box up to the green. Is it driver? Hole 14 here at the Torre Golf. 312 meters should be fairly simple. However, we've got villas to the right of us. We've got these bunkers on the left-hand side. There's not much fairway to play with here. You've got to be really strategic with your club choice. Hole 15, a pass 339 meters to the front of the green. This is one of my favorite par threes on the course. It's an absolute beat. Hole 16 here at La Torre Golf is a 276 yard par four. But look at this, we've got the lake on the right hand side, it's dog leg right. For the brave ones out of us, that is reachable. There's a pocket bunker that does protect the front of the green. I mean, if you land in there and you're a decent player, you're up and down and you're walking away with a birdie. But the not so brave ones, myself, will just be taking a nice driver up to this bunker on the left hand side leaving yourself a hundred yards into the green. But I mean, what a beautiful hole. Check this out. Hole 17, par 3, 153 meters, and it is a beauty. We've got water on the right, we've got two bunkers that protect this green up there, and it is stunning. I just like to stand here and look at what a beautiful hole this is. The lake, the water feature, the bunkers, the green tucked away there. We've got La Torre, the apartment blocks in the background. It's just a great hole. And here we are, the final hole, the 18th, for par four, 329 meters. Look at it. What is La Torre famous for? Lakes and bunkers. What do we have on this? No lake, but check that bunker. That is what's gonna intimidate us on this tee shot. It goes from the tee box all the way up. And then if, as soon as that bunker finishes, there's more on the left-hand side. It's a beauty. The fairway's open. You've got a good chance of hitting it, but wow, what a finishing hole. So we're almost home. Two putts for par. Oh, he doesn't need it. And that's it from me here at La Torre Golf. We've had a great round of golf here. The course is in such good condition. If you're here in the Costa Calida, I would really recommend checking out this course. Now, for more information on the Torre Golf or for any of the other courses in the region, check www.lovegolfplaygolf.co.uk.
Thanks, I'm Anthony Cockings and I'll see you next time.